My next guest has sold over 50 million records, including five number one albums. Yeah. She's also received five Grammy Awards and Academy Award nomination. Her latest CD is called Demita Joe. Please welcome Janet Jackson. <laughs> It's old to get that response, does it? That's no, nice. No, it's very nice always. Now, there's so much to talk about, um, and we're not gonna we're not gonna go into the whole Super Bowl thing because that's been talked about to death. Mm -hmm. We're gonna recreate it later using <laughs> using La Bamba. Uh, <laughs> but um, I want to talk to you first of all. <laughs> no one wants to see that. Um, I owe you because I use dance moves as a comic. And I think I've stolen half my moves have been inspired really? by you. Yeah, I love your moves. The cause of sort of that kind of, that's how I do it, by the way. You don't look like you're buying it. This is you. <laughs> you don't no, think no, so. No, no, no. That's, that's just that's me a, having a fit. <laughs> you like to dance, though. Uh, I like to dance. I dance very badly. But, um, but you inspired a lot of people with this sort of, those military moves. Very, so cool. very, um, yeah, it's very, uh, what do we call it? Just... I don't know. I'm um, sticking it very sharp, right. clean. Mm -hmm. Sticking it sharp, clean, getting everybody to lock off like that must be a hard thing to pull off. But I've tried it a lot. I've tried I this move. Like I, do, I do this string dance where I grab. I noticed you Have do you that. seen this? You do that well. Do you think no, that's honestly, okay? No, I, I often wonder how you do that because, you know, you do do that well. I watch you, you know. Okay. Do you think that's something you might use sometime just to... I, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that was very polite of you to say, I don't know. Um, I've uh, I've not been to one of your concerts, but I'd like to go because I hear that you pull you'll pull a guy on stage during the concert. Oh, yeah, Is that yeah. true? Yeah. Well, first of all, that must be amazing for the guy. Uh, how do you pick the guy? You know, uh, just it comes kind of in the middle. Well, it came in the middle of the show. It it all depends. I don't know what I'm gonna probably recreate it again, but do it differently. Right. Um, I don't know. I just from the minute I get on stage, I just start scoping out different guys in the audience. I'll sometimes ask. The dancers, the girls, actually, to help me and look for a guy. But they always try to find the cutest guy. And they'll come backstage just before the, that particular song and say, this guy on the left and what he's wearing. And, but it's always the cutest one they want me to bring up on stage. What a fun time, just to mix it up, you pick, like, the fat guy with the 7-Eleven cup, you know? <laughs> You bring him up on stage no, no, just to no, no. throw a new uh, wrinkle into the thing. There was actually one guy that I chose in this particular tour. It wasn't the last one, but the one we did before this one, the last one. Um, he was, I didn't think, I didn't know he was heavy as he was mm -hmm. because all I saw was his face mm -hmm. and his bottom half was like pretty big. Right. And I was supposed to put him in a chair and I was like, oh God, is he going to fit in the, <laughs> in the, in the seat? Right, right. And he, he, he squeezed in it. Right. Yeah. But then when he stood up, it came with him. <laughs> <laughs> it stuck to like, his butt. Bring that seat back. That's what I would want to see. I wish I'd been at that show. Uh, you've been famous for such a long time. I'm curious, do you ever get tired of having people recognize you and just wear a disguise when you go out in the world? Well, I've, I've done that before. I had a disguise on. One, one time, I, I, I had never gone to Venice Beach. I've only been once mm -hmm. on that the, uh, walking area. Yeah, there's that area sort of where, where the muscle, muscle men are. Yeah, and all exactly. that stuff. You see all the, the side walk performers. Mm -hmm. um, so I took my dogs with me, but I, I put on a mustache and all the all the professional stuff with the glue you put on a mustache put on a mustache have my sideburns have my baseball cap get out there with my dogs and there's this, like this four-year-old kid mom that looks like janet Jackson. <laughs> mom that's janet Jackson. she's like leave that man alone like, like, you can't fool kids i thought well this is this is yeah. going well and I she starts spanking the kid you know, she, she yanked him leave that man alone yeah the kids just trailing behind her yeah um you have fans that are so devoted to you that they get tattoos that say Janet yeah. or that recreate an album cover. Yeah, or I they mean, get some of my tattoos put on their bodies. They copy your tattoos yeah, and put them on their... Yeah. What, can you tell us about what kind of tattoos you have? <laughs> I have, I think, four or five. Uh-huh. Um, I have one from the Sankofa tribe I put here. Mm -hmm. That means to do with your past in order to move ahead into the future. Mm -hmm. I've seen this in the same spot on a lot of kids mm -hmm. and really big on their shoulders. I've seen my album covers on their shoulders. I've mm -hmm. seen my name 
my signature actually written on their arms and then tattooed. Right. Yeah. Uh, I've seen Conan on some people. But then it says sucks underneath. <laughs> Those have no. got to stop. Um, did, uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, you have a Disney tattoo, is that right? See, I wasn't mentioning that one, but yes, I do. Let's talk about that one. It's, <laughs> it's Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse, yeah, is that right? Yeah. Uh -huh. And they're not just holding hands, are they? No. <laughs> Should we leave it at that? Well, see, now you've taken it to a whole other place. Yeah, I mean, come on, they're sweet and innocent, but they've got a little naughtiness in them, so. That's all I'm saying. It's Mickey and Minnie having a good time. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I'm not saying yeah. what's going down. I don't want any trouble with the Disney people. They're animals. Um, <laughs> they're sending Disney robots after me right now. Um, you have, and I, you know, I notice it in on television and I notice it you know whenever you 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 make an appearance anywhere but when I meet you in person this is the first time it comes your abs are insanely ripped you oh, have no. you have you have don't cover up I mean I would kill for abs like yours do you do you, do you must you have to work out constantly to get abs like that don't you um, no, not really. Yeah. No, uh, some people do ab workouts every day. Well, I, I, when I'm on tour, I work out six days a week, two and a half hours a day, even on show days. Oh, wow. And then we do a two-hour show. So right. It's, but, um, no, I just, every, when I am working out, because I've been pretty bad lately, but I worked out this morning, I do them every other day. Mm-hmm. Every other day. That's making a lot of people just cry watching this interview right now. That you can no. achieve that not working. Well, Does that mean you can't eat a giant bowl of pasta or something? Because well, you pasta's know. really not that good for you. It sticks to your colon. <laughs> <laughs> It does. You're gonna get some letters now. It pasta, does. it sticks to your colon. But it's good. Janet Jackson. It's uh, good though. I it's love so pasta. good. It's yeah. and then, you know, a little colon stick every now and then, not the worst thing in the world. Uh, that yeah, didn't sound right. On down, a little a little Conan stick. Yeah. <laughs> <Oops>. <laughs> How dare you come here and trash talk me. Though true, uh, you know, I did want to mention, uh, and I know this has occurred to you, but just how influential you are on all the people that are performing today, like Brittany, Christina. I mean, you don't you feel in some way that, that you're responsible for a lot of these young performers today who I think, you know, idolized you well, when they were coming up? they've mentioned it yeah. in, in articles, Christina and Brittany and Jennifer. Right. Yeah, they've, they've mentioned it in articles. I mean, it's, it's flattering. That's cool. Uh, we're, we're out of time. Uh, before I go, I'd be remiss if I didn't just ask you about your brother and, and how he's doing. He's doing well, thank you. I was talking about Tito, oh. actually. <laughs> Does he still have that hat? Uh, Demita Joe uh, is in stores uh, right now. Janet Jackson, very nice to meet you. Thanks a lot nice for being here. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Stick around.